Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing some maintenance on the car and doing a few modifications, uh, getting the car ready to go to New Jersey Motorsports Park at the end of the month. Have about a week and a half until the event. So I just wanted to add a few minute last upgrades and do some maintenance on the car. So I picked up these uh, U Skunk 2 Spherical front lower control arms. Picked these up from a homie for a good price. Um, it also came with the little spacers that you need to install. Also picked up uh, some new inner tie rods because I need to change the boots because these are ripped on the car. They just dry rod after a while. So if I'm going to change these, I might as well change the inner tie rods. I also have ESM outer tie rods spherical i know a lot of people use the k-tune ones and they like them a lot so hopefully these are better than oem also i have some old skunk 2 control arms and i upgraded to esm uh, upper ball joints they're spherical also Got some spark plugs i need to change the driver's side axle because the boot's ripping so we're going to get started on these modifications i did the oil pan and stuff last video so right now i'm just going to go and jack up the car pull the wheels on both sides i need to undo the axle nuts because i already have the esm uh, lower extended ball joints in there and you have to take the axle out in order to take that off so let's get started so i got the wheel off over here i undid the bolt for the outer tie rod on this side i already undid the top bolt for the upper control arm and I'll pop these two off right here so this control arm is about to pull out and then I have to pull the axle out in order to undo the um, lower ball joint because of the allen key in there so I'm gonna pull all this apart and then we're gonna get ready to install that lower skunk 2 arm all right so I'll give you guys a little progress update upper control arm is off axle and intermediate shafts off just to get this off you just have to remove these three 14s I dropped the fork already so I'll never have good luck separating these two so basically I'm just going to take a big ass hammer and bang this axle to get it to separate there's a half inch slit somewhere on this boot that's why I'm changing it out all right, so I finally got the control arm on. What a pain, I had to take off the whole spindle because the extended ball joint, the sleeve that goes in right here, uh, got stuck. So I had to pull it out, heat it up, and get it out. So right now I'm just waiting for that to cool off so I can put that back on. I'll uh, hook the sway bar link back up. And then I'm gonna put the intermediate shaft on. And then I have to get the aftermarket control arm and try to line the camber plate up with that and then take these two bushings here until I upgrade these spherical uh, I think ASR makes those but I'm gonna get back to work all right so it's been a minute so let me let you know what I did uh, intermediate shaft is in this uh, scope 2 control arm is on I uh, got the new inner tie rod on i still gotta get the boot uh set on there i also put a brand new alternator on because the bearing was going bad on mine so right now i'm gonna fight and try to get this boot on i'm uh, probably gonna put the sway bar link back on and get this uh spindle on i also got the upper control arm on with the spherical up top so we're making some progress. I don't think I want to get it all done tonight because I haven't even touched the other side yet. All right, so I finally got everything back together. I'm not sure how the alignment is, but I guess we'll find out tomorrow. I put a lot of anti-seize right here and up here, anywhere where these sphericals go because it's aluminum into steel. So you know what kind of rust um, got the control arms in, new axle in, uh, new alternator. So that's it for now. 
I'm gonna pack up for tonight. I uh, still have to do the spark plugs and the complete other side tomorrow. But now I know what I'm doing. It should be much quicker because I don't have to do the axle or an alternator or anything like that on that side. But we'll pick this up tomorrow. All right, so it's the next day. We ended up getting this side done. I still have to dent in the axle bolt on this side. But if you look, steering wheel straight. And I don't know if you can tell, but if you look straight down on the wheel, it's coming in towards this way. Um, I tried to adjust the tie rod, how the stock one was, but of course, being an aftermarket outer, it's a different length. So, before I start on this side, since this one's still straight, I'm going to try to do like a string alignment but to kind of get this close so I watched a couple YouTube videos or whatever I haven't done this before but I just need it to be somewhat straight because I have an alignment appointment in the next couple days to get this thing all together so right now I'm just going to push the car back get it straightened up to where I need it to be and I'm going to set up this string alignment and then I'll walk you guys through what I've seen on the videos Alright, so this is what I have set up. So it's a string tied to two jacks. So from the face of the wheel right here to here, I have it set at three and three quarters. And I also have it set here, or right here to the face to out here to three and three quarters. So obviously looking at the wheel, it's turned in, the front's turned in. So if I measure from the edge of the wheel to the string, I got one and a half here. And then over here I have two and a quarter. So basically I'm gonna have to climb under the car, break the um, inner tie rod uh, jam nut loose and turn this side so it goes in. So basically you're, I'm trying to get the same measurement here as over here. I've never done this before. Like I said, I'm getting a car aligned in a week. I just don't wanna tear the piss out of the tires while I'm driving it there. So I'm gonna try to adjust it real quick and then I'll take a second measurement and see where we're at. All right, so I don't know if you can tell from before, but it's definitely much better than it was. The wheel's pretty much straight now. I'll take my measurements. It's like a one eighth of a tilt, I guess will be out if it's facing outwards. So right back here, I have one and seven eighths. And then up here, I have two. So that's good enough for now. I just need to drive to the alignment shop. It's like, I don't know, five miles away from my house. So that's good. I'm gonna go back underneath, tighten up the jam nut, jack this car up the proper way, and start working on this side. I already have the wheel taken off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the cotter pins and I'm going to use this tool right here to pop the ball joints on the uh, outer tie rod and the upper control arm. This thing works amazing for uh, stock style ball joints. And then afterwards I'm just going to push the tie rod apart. I'm going to pull off the upper control arm and we're going to replace that first. Alright so the upper control arm's out. I mean this ball joint here is still super stiff but the actual boot is beat to shit so got the ESM ones right here so I don't know the guys over at ESM whoever had the bright idea just to thread all the holes on this side so you can mount it the bolts from the back side but it's such a pain to adjust the camber when the bolts are up here so I decided to make a little plate like this and I threaded the holes. So what I had to do to the ESM one to modify it was I drilled out the threads on these four holes right here. So now if I have to, I can just stick an Allen key right in this area here and adjust it from the bottom. So to get this arm set up kind of straight since I took the bolt out in the middle, I can just sit this one here like that and line up the control arm. I need it and then I can just tighten these bolts and it'll get me close to the same camber until I get to the alignment shop. 
So the upper arm's back on. So now we're gonna work on doing this control arm for the Skunk 2 one. One thing I don't like about the ESM extended ball joints is you have to pull the axle out just to even loosen this because there's a cap. I don't know if you could see it up top there, but you have to take that cap off and then put an Allen key through it and then a wrench on this side. So I guess I have to pull the axle out and then get that ball joint undone. And hopefully I don't have the problem where the little metal, I mean the little aluminum fitting gets stuck into the control arm like it did yesterday. Cause then I gotta heat it up and try to get that out. But let's get started on that. So this is where I'm at right now. Axle had to come out. Uh, sway bar bushing had to come out. Got the control arm out. This is undone. So this is why I don't like the extended ball joints. You can see right in there, there is a aluminum sleeve. Should have known better and put some anti seize in there. But I didn't. When I put it back together, I will. So basically, I gotta get a torch now, heat this up for like 10 minutes. And I have like a punch that fits perfectly inside there to try to separate it. After fooling with this thing for like 20 minutes, got the sleeve out that just has to get pushed back into there. And then I could put the ball joint back in the new control arm. But that thing's super hot right now because it's aluminum. But while I'm waiting on that, I'm gonna put this guy in right here. There's like a little sleeve for each side that just kind of sets in the bearing. So I'm gonna end up putting these on right now. Um, the inside right here, a nut on this side and a bolt through this side right here. And then that'll be on. And then while I'm waiting for that to cool, I guess I'm gonna start fooling with this uh, inner tie rod. So I got the inner and outer tie rod and the boot off. So basically to get this off, I used the tool. It's just this piece here and this part that goes on to a half inch bar. So basically this piece right here locks onto the, the sides of this. And then you just slide this part into the bar and you tighten it on. So to reinstall this, It'll come with this little washer here with these two little uh, ears hanging off of it. And if you look on the rack, you'll see two little slots. It's very important that you put this on or the inner tie rod can back out. So I got the inner tie rod boot on. I always struggle with it because it's such a tight area to work on and you kind of got to stretch the rubber to get it over the rack. But before I remove the one that was on there, I measured from the back of the bolt to the end of the threads. So it was about one inch. So hopefully this gets me kind of close. Um, it's not going to be exact because this isn't the same shape as this one here. You can see this one's actually a lot shorter. So I'm going to start assembling this back together. We'll put the sway bar uh, bushing back in to kind of hold this up. And then I'm going to put a healthy amount of anti-seize right here where the ball joint goes. I'm going to put some on the spindle where the upper ball joint goes and where this goes. So that way it doesn't get seized in there, hopefully. And then once I have all this back together, I'm going to jack up on the suspension and finish tightening this inner bolt. All right, so I just wanted to show you the string alignment on this one. So right off the wheel where it's flat, about three and a quarter. So I'll come over here, measure that, three and a quarter. So if I measure off this uh, lip of the wheel, I'm right at one and three eighths, right here off the lip of this wheel right at one and three eighths, maybe slightly under three eighths. So that should be straight enough 
to get me to the alignment place. This one straight. And the steering wheel straight. So I'm gonna tighten up all those jam nuts right now. And I should be good. I really don't like doing the string alignment, but they look straight looking at them. All right, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. The string alignment has the car driving pretty straight, but the steering wheel's like at 10 o'clock, so whatever, it'll do good enough until I get to the alignment shop next weekend. Uh, the suspension feels amazing. It's real stiff, super responsive. Uh, doesn't feel like there's any slack in it, like uh, the OEM stuff. But uh, this was a pretty expensive upgrade. I'm probably going to change the oil again before I head to the track, and I want to change the fuel filter. Uh, also, I'm going to rewrap the roof because the vinyl that I put on there last year is starting to crack, and I don't want any water to get in the car. But um, if you guys have any questions about this stuff, feel free to leave a comment down below or hit me in the DMs. But uh, I still have some stickers left, so if any of you guys are interested in those, feel free to message me about them. But until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.